So the first one that um, I'm going to talk about is motivating the sign up. So when it comes to a cold audience uh, for your online course, people always start at a very low level of interest. And our job is to move them to a high level of interest so that they will take action. Um, so you can build interest by removing any objections that they might have. Um, some of the exceptions that they might have is one, I'm never going to use this in my life. <laughs> you ever heard that? The second one is I don't need to learn this right now. And then the third one is ah, just, it's, this thing just takes too much time. I don't have time for this. Uh, so to answer these objections, we can borrow a lesson from the great marketing copywriters like Dan Kennedy, um, who wrote about the pain agitate and solution formula. And I really like this because it relates so much to these three objections for courses. So I'm going to take what he said and I'm going to adapt it for online courses. All right. I hope this is making sense. Uh, but that's what you're going to get It's like a mini marketing course here because I, I love his his course so much. So the first one, let's deal with pain. OK, well, we're going to talk about um, the the pain portion. I think pain is is a very important uh, aspect. So let's see if I can just can I just have just say pain. OK, sweet <laughs> again. All right. So Dan said that when you understand that people are more likely to act to avoid pain than to get gain, you'll understand how powerful this first part of the formula is. It may be the most reliable sales formula that has ever been invented. And that is a straight up quote from Dan Kennedy inside the book Magnetic Marketing. And so if, if you haven't seen it, it it's actually in the, the, like the Amazon Live, like you can actually just click it and, and buy the book direct. So have you already created a course, maybe in Coursera or Udacity, um, and it didn't get a lot of purchases? You ever wonder, like, why? Why is that? <laughs> um, I love I love the quote from uh, Dan Kennedy inside his book because he said, "I'm gonna I'm gonna keep quoting him." Um, there's this story about legendary copywriter Harry Gary Halbert, who once asked a room full of aspiring writers. Now imagine you're opening up a hamburger stand on the beach. What do you need to most succeed? And so in this course, answers included secret sauce, a great location, quality meat. And Halbert replied, you guys, you missed the most important thing. A starving crowd, <laughs> people who are really hungry. Your job is to find that starving crowd who can't live without what it is that you have to offer. And so what we want to do in terms of targeting is to find good perspective customers for our business that can be reached affordably, uh, that are likely to buy, and they're preferably people who already know us or who already trust us. So the first step is making sure that you find those starving like those those audience that you can target uh and that, of course the this helps to solve the objection of oh this course is boring because they can't see how they're going to practically use this information in their lives today so both this is boring and i'm never going to use this in my life are actually they're the same objection uh does that make sense so that they're when they're saying like it's boring or that this i'm never going to use this in my life um, that's essentially what they're saying is that like, it's not relevant to me. So the key is, it's not that your stuff isn't relevant. It's just have you found the right audience for it? So are you going are you going to the right spaces? The next one I love is like in this formula, there's pain, agitate and solution. So the next one is called agitate. And I love agitate. Um, because, you know, to me, pain itself is a, a so powerful of a starting point. But the next step about agitate uh, is just as important because if you don't agitate you you find that they don't buy <laughs> um another common objection is like especially if people are doing an online course is look I, I don't need to learn this i don't need to learn this right now and the now is referring to the urgency of learning this today 
So if the course is always available on the internet, why not wait until I'm actually going to use the materials in the course first? I mean, I'm already overwhelmed with the amount of things that I have to do right now. <laughs> I can't take on another course. And so we need to ask, well, what happens if this problem doesn't get solved? What happens if things stay the same? If not now, then when? The key thing to remember is that if they don't take action today, the current pains that they have will not go away. They're just going to get worse. The only way to resolve the issue is to deal with the pains directly. And so we don't need to be super creative here. Um, this is really about research. So uh, the recommendations from uh, the book, uh, Magnetic Marketing, is to review, research the reviews of existing products. Interview some of the people who perhaps watched your videos in the past and ask them what about what their plans are for their lives. What is holding them back from achieving their goals? <laughs> Our goal here is to paint a picture of what the ideal future looks like uh, compared to the dark reality of today. And so that's one of the reasons why this agitate is so important. Uh, so for example, uh, with AI parenting, so this, this uh, series right here, I describe a fork in the road where we must either choose between this AI controlled dystopia uh, where learning and working um, is all controlled by AI and computers, or we can choose this other path of moving towards creativity and authenticity. And the only way that we can give creativity a fighting chance is to give creative best practices an unfair advantage in the marketplace. I mean, there's billions of dollars of uh, being made every single day by big tech uh, companies that are pushing towards an AI proctored or managed future. So how are we going to fight back? We're going to fight back by giving you this unfair advantage. And we're going to use classical techniques that are, have been tried, tested and true, uh, true for uh, more than 100 years. Like th there's nothing new here. Uh, this is the same stuff that they use for direct mail, like mail marketing. This is the stuff that they used in advertisements years and years ago. They captured fundamentals of human behavior. We're going to we're going to teach you all these things. It's going to make you a better educator. It's going to make you a better like for your online courses. It's going to make you a better influencer. And so that's why we do what we do. And so, again, it's like, well, what happens if I don't do any of this learning? What happens if I skip all this stuff? Well, nothing's going to change. Right. Like, when do you want to become that influencer or when, when do you want to build that legacy? Ask that question. Now. This is where I, I will go into in, into those objections, but I'll give you a sense of like, like Coursera. Um, the last um, thing that I want to talk about is the solution. So pain, we did pain, we did agitate. Um, now the last one that I want to cover is solution and solution. Like they, they also call it solve, but I, I prefer solution. Um, the last objection is that the course itself is going to take too much time or effort. Uh, and this actually relates quite well. Um, this is one of the reasons actually why I don't recommend having a course outline in the sales page. Many people will go, here's the syllabus of exactly what I'm going to teach in my online course. I, I do not recommend that because people look at all the things that they have to learn. And the first thing that they come up with is they feel overwhelmed. And they say, forget this course, I'm not going to take it, it's going to take way too much time. So you need to position the solution as an easy step by step process. And sometimes the shorter that the course is, the more focused it is on a, a specific niche topic, um, it tends to do better than a longer one with a broader range of topics. Like for example, oh, internet marketing as a whole, like it might be too big for uh, it to cover, like in, a, in one course, but I just want to know about how do I use video in Instagram? Um, that, that can be a much smaller course and much easier for people to uh, consume. And so make sure that your solution is, is easy, it's step by step, it's something that people can consume fairly easily. Uh, another way to address uh, the, oh, it takes too much time objection 
is to provide certificates or badges um, that come with your course. So for example, um, I have a video funnels secrets course. Um, maybe hmm, what's the best way I, I'll just show you what this looks like. Is that okay? Like I, I'm going to use my myself as an example. Okay, so here's the course. Um, so in the online course, I have like video funnel secrets. And so if you click on it right here, um, you can, it'll open up the the course, but it also says like, Oh, th this is what this course is. Um, it has like a, a brief video. And so that gives you a sense of like what this course is about. And it has a, a quick description. Um, what you're going to learn, like this is I try to relate it to how it's going to help you. And then I have, of course, the thumbnails uh, that are part of my course uh, in here. And so what you get at the end of finishing this course, though, is not just the course, you get this badge. So this badge right here. So this is a, a certificate that you'll get. And then underneath, I don't know if you can see this yellow thing. Um, that's the badge uh, that is provided with the course. And all you need to do is just answer some questions and that course is, is provided for you. Um, and so what it means is that you'll be rewarded for the amount of effort that you, you put in. Um, of course, the, the badge is awarded just for watching all of the videos. And the certificate is awarded when you complete just a short quiz. And, and the quiz is really just to make sure I get a clear understanding. Uh, and, and this is leading into my next point about motivating action once they have taken the course. So I just want to give you a quick recap. Pain, agitate, solution is actually the, the classic marketing formula, and it works quite well for courses. And right now in Coursera, it focuses a lot on you don't have to provide a syllabus, you could just deal with the pain specifically, the key is finding the right audience. So pain is about like connecting with the right audience. Agitate is really focused on, you know, what happens? Why is there urgency? Why do you need to do it now? I mean, the other things you could do is just offer a discount, you go, okay, I, I'm going to give you a discount on this course. Uh, up to the end of today. And then after today, then that's it, you know, this this deal is over. <laughs> and so it, it's up to you how you want to how you want to offer that. So the and then the last one solution is just making sure that it doesn't seem like it's overwhelming. Um, that's the last thing you want. And that's not easy to do, right? It's easy to like create multi hours of courses, but then creating it tight, like, why do I need to learn these? These are the fundamentals of you getting towards your goal.